So you've decided that you are finally taking the plunge to make French beaded flowers. And you've watched my videos on what beads and wire to use and how to string beads on wire. Now what? Before you get started, I want to share with you five quick tips to help you shorten your learning curve and be more successful when making bead and wire flowers. Hi everyone, I'm Fen Lee, designer here at the Bead Flora Studio, author to the book Bead Flora, the revival of French beaded flowers, and a bead instructor at the Bead and Button Show. On this channel, I offer technique reference guides, free beaded flower tutorials, and tip videos just like this one. If you would like to learn more, consider subscribing. Now let's get into the tips. Number one. There are no strict bead counts. Most people uh, that come to French beading have a background already in bead weaving. In bead weaving patterns, there are specific bead counts. Throw all that out the window. In French beading, you will start out with a bead count for the center row, but as you are wrapping, the number of beads in the subsequent rows may vary from person to person depending on the type or brand of beads you are using and your own wrapping style. The petals can even vary in size if you have an extra bead somewhere or wrapped slightly different. Look at this picture here. I started out with the same amount of beads, follow the same pattern, but somehow the petals look different. So don't be discouraged if your petals look different than mine. I can't even get mine to look like mine sometimes. Keep practicing and find your own style. Which leads me to my second tip. Number two, it is okay if your practice flowers are messy. Most beaders um, with a foundation in bead weaving expect their French beaded flowers to look perfect right away. And that's just not how wire works. It will be messy and that is okay. But you need to get started if you want to improve and have your flowers to eventually look like this. Number three, working off of the spool. When making beaded flowers, we string what beads we can on a spool of wire and then make the flower components from the spool. String as much as you can while still being able to work off of the spool. For example, this eucalyptus pattern calls for about 60 grams of beads. You can string just a few grams of beads on and you will have enough to make the first few leaves and then string some more on. Then as you gain more experience, you'll be able to gauge the length of beads you need in order to make a certain petal or leaf. It's better to have more beads on the wire than not enough. Which leads us to the next tip. Number four, what do you do if you don't have enough beads on the spool? There are times where even I miscalculated the amount of beads to string on the wire and when that happens, I wrap the bare wire around the petal for the remaining rows that I need. Then I cut the bare wire off the spool and continue beading. Number five, lace your flowers. Most beginners do not like lacing flowers because it's not as fun as making the flower parts. Lacing is sewing the rows together with very thin wire. And that was me when I first started making beaded flowers. I made Virginia Nathanson's cabbage rose pattern and did not lace. I don't need it, I said. It looked fine once it's shaped, I said. No, it's not fine. It was not fine. <laughs> Lacing is the secret sauce to taking your flowers to the next level. And the other week, I was going through my storage tubs for some samples and came upon these beaded roses. Both are my own design. These two came straight out of storage and I didn't do anything to shape them. This rose here was laced and it kept its shape. And this rose, I didn't shape for whatever reason. Can you see the difference? Straight out of storage and these are 10 years old. So super important tip, if a pattern calls for you to lace the flowers, lace them. And bonus tip, floss your stems too. This is what the stem looks like flossed, and this is what a stem looks like if you just used floral tape. The floral tape degrades and can become less sticky over time, and it can look sloppy. 
That's it. Are you ready to get started? My goal is to help you have a successful start making French beaded flowers. Oh yes, one sad announcement. The beaten button show was originally postponed, but now it's canceled. With how the pandemic is going, they felt that it was for the best. So good news for you. I listed some bead kits in my Etsy shop that I made exclusively for the bead show. Each kit includes all the materials you need to make the project. Connect with me on Facebook and Instagram where I'll announce when I list a new kit too. Here are some of the kits that are excellent beginner projects. They come with step-by-step -step written instructions and video. I'll also put a link in the description below with where you can get a copy of my book. If you would like to check it out, you can sign up for a 30-day free Amazon Kindle Unlimited trial. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Hit the notification bell to be notified of whenever I upload a new video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next week with a new tutorial. Bye!